The pepper steak at P.F. Chang's is an elevated and upscale version of the popular Chinese American takeout dish. It's marinated and stir fried flank steak served with, of course, peppers, red and green, sweet onion, garlic, ginger, and tossed in a pepper garlic sauce. And because we need to get our flank steak marinating for at least two hours, we're gonna get right into it. But first I wanna give a quick shout out to Matt Flores. This is Matt's request recipe, and so Matt, I hope you enjoy the video. And if you happen to have a restaurant or a recipe that you'd like me to feature in an upcoming episode, go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. I promise you I take a look at and respond to every one of my recipe requests. But make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when your recipe comes up, you'll be notified just like Matt. So let's go ahead and get this flank steak trimmed out, sliced and marinating so we can move on to the rest of the stir fry. Start with one and a half pounds of flank steak and remove all of the fat and silver skin from the flank. You particularly wanna make sure that you remove all of the silver skin because unlike the fat, silver skin will not melt in the cooking process and will leave you with a very tough and chewy piece of flank steak. Next, you wanna slice the flank steak lengthwise to make two equal pieces. And then holding your knife at a 45 degree angle and cutting against the grain, slice the flank steak to make pieces about one and a half to two inches in length and about a half of an inch in thickness. Once the flank steak has been trimmed and sliced, place it in a glass or non-reactive bowl and add five tablespoons of a premium soy sauce. Now add three tablespoons of rice wine, not rice vinegar, rice wine. Next add one teaspoon of pure sesame oil, one teaspoon of cracked black pepper, and a half of a cup of cornstarch. Now mix the meat in the marinade very, very well. Now cover tightly in plastic wrap and refrigerate for a minimum of two hours. While this is refrigerating, we're gonna get the vegetables ready and make the pepper garlic sauce. Take one medium sized sweet onion and cut it into one inch chunks. One large green bell pepper, cleaned and cored, also cut into one inch chunks. Same exact thing with one large red bell pepper. Four large garlic cloves minced. And a one inch piece of fresh ginger, peeled and grated. To make the pepper garlic sauce in a medium sized bowl, start with three tablespoons of your premium soy sauce, two tablespoons of black vinegar, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of chili crisp oil, one tablespoon of spicy bean paste, and one tablespoon of demerara sugar. Now whisk these ingredients together and set aside. I'm gonna go ahead and pin a link to my Amazon storefront down below in the comments section. And there you can find all of the ingredients that you need to make the pepper sauce for P.F. Chang's pepper steak. In a very hot wok or a high walled saute pan, add two tablespoons of peanut oil. Once the oil shimmers, add the beef in batches and stir fry for about two minutes to sear the beef. Remove the cooked beef, set on a drainage rack and repeat until all of the beef is seared. Add one more tablespoon of peanut oil and once the oil shimmers, add two tablespoons of sesame seeds. Stir fry the sesame seeds until fragrant and then add the ginger, the garlic, the onions, and the peppers. Stir fry until the peppers become a bright color and the onions become translucent, about one and a half to two minutes. But you wanna make sure that the peppers remain crisp. Add back in the beef and the pepper sauce and stir fry an additional minute. The sauce will thicken as it stir fries. Now serve this over some rice or maybe over some shredded cabbage if you're going carb free. And this portion will serve at least four entrees. You know, if you were to order this out at P.F. Chang's, you're looking at about $80. And I know that the flank steak only cost me about 20. The rest of the stuff, vegetables, whatever, they don't cost very much. I'm never spending $20 on this entree at P.F. Chang's again. I'm sorry. This is banging. Beef is tender. The flavor, just make sure to keep your vegetables nice and crispy. And like I said, go ahead and pop your recipe or restaurant request in the comments section below and I will get back to you. But until I see you again, everybody, make it an awesome, awesome day. Cheers, I love y'all. And for more great recipes from P.F. Chang's, check out right here. It's incredible, this is what I'm having for dinner.